Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase how we're using Docker and more specifically Docker Compose can build two containers and then connect them where we in one container have a database running using MySQL and in another container we're going to start a Python script that's then going to access our MySQL database and in this case just print some information from the database to the console. And a few videos ago, which will also be linked in the description, I showcased how we're using Docker can build this MySQL container and so we simply just have a from mysql latest in a docker file we then copy a sql file into our docker container which is then simply run by this mysql docker container which in this case create a new database user database then create a table students and then add some students to this table and then inside my python container i simply have a container built from a python image I then install mysql connector python which allow us to connect to a MySQL database. We then have set a working directory and we copy our Python file into this container. Inside our Python file, actually just very simply, we're importing from MySQL container. We then have a connection which takes in the inputs of our user, which is going to showcase shortly that we set inside our Docker Compose file. But we have a user with root, which is the basic password, root, host, then going to be MySQL which is actually just the other container, then the port from this other container, and then the specific name of the database we're actually going to be accessing. And what we're then doing inside Docker Compose, which is using a YAML file, we then have some services. We then have two services in this case. We have a Python app and a MySQL. Inside our Python app, we then simply build it from our Python folder, which contains the Docker file building the Python container and then copying the Python file into the container. We then run a command, then execute the Python file. After 10 seconds have passed, because we need the other container with MySQL to be loaded before we can actually access the database. And because this is not really like an actual example, just to make sure everything is loaded properly, I just make sure this container sleeps for 10 seconds. But if you're using like this database for some kind of backend setup and you then have a, assuming the database is already running in another container, we could just connect it. But because we're starting both of them at the same time, we need to make sure that MySQL is running. Otherwise we're gonna have quite a few errors. And we then also depend on the MySQL service, which simply mean that we will first run this Python app after the MySQL container it's been started, but still, because it takes a few seconds for the database to get up and running, we need to wait this 10 seconds when doing it this way. And for MySQL, we then build from the MySQL folder. Restart always, just good practice with databases. We have some environment variables. We set the database we're going to be using and a password. And even though we inside Hello World is defined that we use the user root, that's just the basics when nothing else is defined. Password, we define the host is the name of our other service and then also the port number and because I know and we can simply check how this works when using this MySQL image it will automatically expose at port 3306 and then we simply just port forward from the inner port of our container 3306 to outside our container 3306 and all of this is going to be running on its own network because the way that Docker Compose works is when running services, they're going to be running on their own closed network. Or we could also add like different networks and have something more run on one network and blah, blah, blah. But we're just doing it very simply like this. We just need to understand all of this is running on the same closed, like a Docker Compose created network. So at the base of it, one Docker file to create MySQL, copy the information of our SQL, which then run inside our MySQL Docker container. Another Docker container for Python, set up the Python environment, then copy our Python file, which is then run after 10 seconds. So let me just showcase. So I'm just using this to the code and the terminal just in here. So we have Docker images, no images, Docker container, ls, I could spell 
like that, no containers. And I would then simply say ls, so we can see that I am out here where we have the MySQL folder, the Python folder, and our Docker Compose file. To then run our Docker Compose file, we would simply do docker compose up. And for now, it's then going to take a few seconds, because it's then first going to, as you can see here, it creates the networks, and it work. It then creates the, or built the MySQL file. Again, notice that it's building MySQL first because our Python app service depends on MySQL. So it's being told that our MySQL file needs to be loaded before we use our Python app. But as mentioned a few times, we still need to make sure we have this latency. So we make it sleep for 10 seconds because the MySQL server might take a few seconds to actually load. And this might take some time, so I am going to be right back when it is done loading. So now we're more or less done building. As we can see now, we're then creating the Docker Compose MySQL 1, we're creating the Docker Compose Python app 1. And as you can just see, it takes a few seconds. Because it needs to wait. And in this case, it actually didn't finish. Because you can see here the Python app tried connecting to the MySQL server, but it wasn't able to because it wasn't there. As we can see here, down here later, down here first, at the bottom here, the server is ready for connection. So let's actually just try again. And again, this problem kind of occurs because we're kind of forcing to connect to the database right after we create it, which isn't really optimal. But let's actually see what we have now. So if we do Docker images, we now have a Docker Compose Python app and we have a Docker Compose MySQL. And let's see if we have any containers still running. Nope. They are all closed. But if we then again try using Docker Compose up, because they were already built once and some of the mechanism to build them happened, we might actually be able now have the database run a bit faster. So as you can see here, the database is ready for connection and our Python app then connects to the database and we printed the information from the database. So as you can see, actually the 10 second delay for the database to be set up actually isn't enough when running it the first time, but when everything has been run first or when we're just starting the containers, instead of having to build everything, it actually works. And that is pretty much the thing. If we actually just look at the Python file again, what it actually does after connecting to the database is we have this connection with all the information about our database. We then create a cursor, connection cursor, and we then give this cursor a SQL statement to execute, which is more or less just calling the statement on the database and then returning the information. So we just call this cursor and we fetch all. We then get the list of all the students. We then close our connection to the database and then we just print all the students. So in this case, it's just John Anderson and Emma Smith, which we can also see from our SQL file are the two students being loaded. That is the basics of it. The most important thing to get here and understand is that we're creating two different containers. We're then connecting them or we're exposing a port inside our MySQL and inside, inside our Python script we're then finding this port and the service, and because they're on the same closed network, we then simply just use the host as this other name of the service, MySQL. And we could then imagine that we started this, when we had this running, the MySQL here would be like the backend for some website. And then maybe instead of just using Python, we were using something like like Flask to then have the, the website and we would then simply use this connection to connect to our database and because we're in the same server we didn't push all of this to some local server and then have our database be exposed to some URL somewhere. And we could then start to see the basics of actually having multiple layers, having some kind of architecture and how we're then using Doc Compose to then compile and build all these images and then to containers and then we can then just expose ports and connect them. So I hope this showcase of how we can start two containers inside Docker Compose 
when Python, Y, and MySQL, and then connect them to help to get a better understanding of how this works. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.